All right, hi, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a wet mount slide of the letter E and how to place it onto the microscope and view it. So over here, we have a cutout of a lowercase letter E and it doesn't have to be all the way cut out, it's just that part over here. This is a glass slide and this is a cover slip. This is water dropper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just place a little drop a little dab of water on a slide like that, right in the center of the slide. Now we don't want our fingerprints all over it because then they'll get in the way. So I'm gonna add this letter E on here, cut it a little shorter, and I'm gonna place it right onto that water dropper, drop it. And I'm gonna straighten it out, however you wanna straighten it out. And I wanna see the E facing me. I'm gonna add another water or two on top of it. So I gotta get water on it. There we go. It's sliding too much. Okay, the letter E should be facing me. And then I'm gonna take the cover slip. I'm gonna place it on a 45 degree angle. So remember, hold on the sides. See the angle I'm holding, I'm gonna put one here like this, and I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna drop it like this. And the reason why I do that is to allow it not to have a lot of bubbles. And I see um, the E, I want the E facing me, the lowercase E facing me. Now I'm gonna place it onto the slide, onto the stage, and on the stage. I wanna make sure that the stage is moved all the way down using my course adjustment. Open up the stage clips, throw it in here, and it's secure it. And now I'm gonna move that E above that light. I wanna make sure the light, I'm using my iris diaphragm, the light is the brightest it is. And I'm gonna use my stage clip knobs over here and move the E over that hole in the light. I'm gonna eyeball it wherever I think it's right in the center. I have it on my lowest. This is the scanning, that's just four times. Four times 10, that's 40 times. All right, now I have it on there. I believe I have it on now. I'm gonna put my eye on here. I'm gonna put my hands on the course adjustment. Look through here and I'm going to continue to get closer and closer until I see an E and I see it, but it's not centered. So I still have to recenter it. I want that E right in the center. And there it goes. I could adjust the light if I want to, if it's too bright, using my iris diaphragm or too dark, I could adjust the light. Okay, all right, and I see it, and I see the E is upside down and backwards, right in the center. My microscope also has something called a pointer. If you move this around, that little black line is a pointer. You can use that to identify things with. After I have this done, I wanna go onto my 10 times. My 10 times is the yellow, so I'm just switch it, clip it, make sure it's clipped in right on the 10. And I'm gonna take my hands and put on the fine adjustment now. And I'm just gonna use the fine adjustment just to adjust it a little so I can see the, and I see that this whole E just got bigger. And I see the whole E upside down, taking up my whole vision. It looks like this, this is what I'm looking at. The whole E is upside down in here, okay? And I want you to take a picture of it or draw it. And after you do that, I am going to ask you to go on to your 40 times, which is my blue one. And now, you can, you can recenter it. You can use your light, change your light again if you need to, and lighten it up. You can recenter it. Now, it looks a little weird because I'm only looking at a part of the E. And I can determine if I'm looking at the, and I can use my fine adjustment again here. And I could be looking at the, the bottom of the E or the middle of the E, but it doesn't matter what part of the E I'm looking at, and I wanna draw that, okay? And that's how you do them. When I'm done, I'm going to move my slide down. I'm gonna move this to the lowest possible objective lens, I'm gonna take my slide off. Answer the questions, and that is how you do the lab. Thank you.